All Star Squad. Yo, 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 what is up, my All Stars? Welcome back to another video. Today, I want to talk about things that you must do before season one is over. As you see on the top left, there is 10 days left in season one called a ball. The number one thing that you must do is win your five unlimited games to earn Glitch James Harden. Man, this card is a beast with 21 gold badges, 20 silver badges, two bronze badges, and one Hall of Fame badge. He has clamps, he can shoot, he can dribble the ball, he can even dunk the ball. This is probably the best shooting guard in the game other than this guy right here now if you don't feel like going for Harden which I don't know why you won't you know it's only five games you can win one game every day and you'll get him before the season's over but this guy is the next comparable to James Harden but he is about 25 thousand or 26,000 MT so what do you want you want a free card or you want to spend 26,000 MT for Donovan Mitchell I'll rather take James Harden the second piece of advice that I will be talking to you guys about is to sell your cards before super packs come out you know that 2k loves their super packs every single year every single season I mean they do super packs and i don't know what's going on you know I, I just feel like not that many people are playing this game but for example this ruby darius miles is going for about twelve thousand mt right now let's see let's see another card so i can show you guys ruby lamello ball You can probably get about 9,000. I haven't seen one below 10,000. I don't know what it is. It, it feels like cards are extinct. This is a good example. Freddie Van Vliet, who when he came out, he was probably like 15,000. Now he's at least 30,000 to, to at least get him. Kawhi Leonard's a great example. I actually sold my Kawhi last week and I bought this Scotty Pippen in return who can give me what Kawhi gives me. His three pointer might not be the best, right? But his shot is so easy to time. And this one is actually bashed up. He comes with catch and shoot corner specialist, gold sniper and slippery off ball. This Scotty Pippen is a beast and I think I got him for like 31,000. I'll put a picture on the screen right now. Now, the third thing that I want you guys to consider to do before the season's over is to sell your badges. As you guys may or may not know, the first 250k qualifier is this Saturday and people are looking to badge up their players as much as they can. I would keep an eye on on silver badges. These are the badges that technically, you know, go for the most. I will also keep an eye on players that release today in primetime packs and players that release on Friday. And look for what badges are missing because those badges are definitely going to skyrocket. Now, another thing that you must do is to go over here and do your skill challenges. I did these, but you know me, I don't pull that much from here. There are people that have pulled diamonds, pink diamonds, amethyst. I'm not one of those people, but maybe you can be one of those people. I would definitely suggest playing these challenges. It's free packs, you know, what's the worst that can happen? You got a gold player a badge that you can sell 
it's not the worst so you got four of these packs and then you also got a flash that's five and also i would keep an eye on these juiced limited weekly challenge cards we had Denison Jr., who's probably the best gold player in the game. Then we had Joe Ingles, Corey Kispert. And last week we had a Robert Horry. Maybe this week we'll get a really good Ruby player. And if I were you, I'll do that quick because those challenges do expire on Sunday night. And one last challenge that I want to advise to you guys is to do the Jason Tatum challenge. I haven't done it, but I'm definitely going to do it before the season's over. You get a free diamond shoe and a Hall of Fame badge. You never know. You might get an insane Hall of Fame badge from here. Those do expire before the season is over. And number five, I think we're number five, is to check on your triple threat, you know? I played about 80 something games and I got Ron Boone. Ever since then, I played like a hundred and something. I haven't gotten a Louis Dampier. You know, it's just RNG. It's the way it goes. And for Triple Threat Online, if you're good at this game mode, ML Carr is probably the best on ball defender next to Scotty, LeBron, and Kawhi. And Gus is definitely a jack of all trades. He's not spectacular at one thing, but he is pretty balanced at everything. The next thing is to keep an eye on limited. You know, if you've been keeping up with your ranks every single week, you will get Pink Diamond Devin Booker. As of right now, Devin Booker is not the greatest Pink Diamond in the world. He definitely needs some help defensively, but you never know. In NBA 2K21, the limited cards have gotten juice before they came out, so you never know what 2K will do. If you're on track of your rings, I'll get Devin Booker. If not, you can also get a Hall of Fame badge at five rings, which can be equally as good. Now, let's get to the fun portion of this. And I get it, you know, not that many people will get Carmelo Anthony. I get it. But in my opinion, a good stopping point would probably be right here, level 34. After that, you know, you, you don't really get crazy things. You know, diamond consumable, it could be a hit or miss. Now, diamond contracts, I like it. That should be a guaranteed 30 something KMT. Uh, diamond shoe, you might get something dumb like shot IQ. Hall of Fame badge is great, and you know, obviously Carmelo, but not, you know, not everybody will make it this far. I would probably say either level 33 or level 34. It's a good stopping point because 30 tokens is definitely a lot. Now, what I really wanted to get to is this. You see these challenges right here where it says week two, part whatever, week three, part whatever. I would do these challenges because they give you draft tickets. Now these draft tickets, I think will be there for the upcoming seasons. I don't think they expire this particular season. So I would do these challenges and get as many draft tickets as you possibly can. Because the draft mode is the best mode to get MT and tokens. It's a great mode to farm up things over there. All right, now the last thing that I want to mention for today is to check up on these diamond shoe boosts. They might give you some value, especially if you don't plan on using them. Look, for example, there's lateral quickness. You can make a nice little 10K MT. Definitely not bad. This one should go for a lot, yeah. Three pointer. I don't really understand the hype from Diamond Shoe Boost. You can you can use one of these plus three ones and it's the same thing, you know. It's only plus one. <laughs> three plus whatever coach you got, it should give you at least six. Like it, it's really not that much of a difference. You're paying what three thousand over here. 
3,000 for the plus three and look in the plus four, the cheapest one I've seen so far is 14,000 only for one attribute point. But yeah, like I said, it's a 50k qualifier is coming up. Try to sell as many shoe boosts as you can, especially if you don't plan on using them. Also, these diamond shoes, look at this. These diamond shoes go for a lot. Like I said, if you don't plan on using these bad boys, I would definitely try to sell them. Look right here, you can make a nice little 5,000. These Kyries, you might sell them for, you know, maybe like 12,000. These Air Jordans, this is a reward. All right, I only got two, but if I sell the Kyries and I sell the Concords, I can make a nice little profit. So yeah guys, that's all I have to say for today. Those are things that you must do before the season's over. I am recording this video with 10 days left in the season 2K. I might add a crazy event this weekend, so definitely keep an eye out for that. And yeah guys, if you want to see me rant and talk about my team, I would definitely suggest following me over on twitter.com slash allstarroberto. And if you want to see short and straight to the point my team videos, definitely give me a follow on TikTok, I'll start Roberto. And yeah, guys, have an amazing, great rest of your day. If you're going for mellow like I am, let's get to the grind, baby. I'll see you guys in the next video.